Hey guys, in my previous video, I showed you the dangers of using a 230 volt uh, unit for uh, the US and just simply uh, attaching an auto transformer to it and calling it good. That there's a bonding screw that needs to be removed between neutral and ground uh, to make the unit safe uh, for the US. However, the labeling is still unsafe in my opinion, live and neutral. Uh, we make that fairly clear on our website that uh, it is for the European market. Some people say, let's call it the international version, but the international version would exclude the US. So uh, we, to be safe, we call it the European version. Uh, it does not give 120 volts output. It's a 230 volt unit only. So uh, we opened it up. We have some older models back from when we started uh, <coughs> with GrowWatt with the off-grid units uh, for many years now. And uh, show you the latest model that just arrived uh, like two weeks ago. Uh, shipping is taking uh, two to three months for things to arrive right now. Uh, it's quite amazing that some folks are claiming there's a US model out uh, where we have fresh stock just arrived two weeks ago. I uh, haven't heard about the US model for this particular version yet, uh, but uh, it seems like a bit of a game being played. So uh, here's the video on what it looks like uh, behind the uh, 5000 ES models. What we're going to do for here today is uh, we've got two models of the 5000 ES. This is an older model and that's a newer model and uh, we can open them up and see the differences on the main boards on the two different models this is the one of them it shows bms rs485 and on the other one it shows can and rs485 and it looks slightly different that's the can board and that is the the rs485 board so th this is the facelift model that was done uh, just recently You'll notice as well, it's still marked live and neutral. A uh, US model in my, in my mind must be L1, L2. And just the same as that old model over there, live and neutral. Can written on the front. We'll pull that board out. And the new model, they look identical. Um, and there's a, there's a revision on the board as well. Uh, the revision on the board there, 801. Whereas the other board ends in an 800. So this is what the main board looks like on the um, older model. You, there's no through hole plating for the hole. So in my earlier assessment, um, I said there would be some connection over there. Uh, there's no copper on the other side. So you should be good to remove that screw. So there's no copper near that hole. See the closest copper stops right over there, over there, but this is just um, the salt screen layer and there's no copper around this hole over here. I'll scratch them off and have a look. But then there's a standoff over there as well that's underneath. And so if the screw thread is still there, uh, you're probably going to be okay. This is the different uh, and older model. Uh, the same thing over there with that hole um, there's no through hole plating on that guy over there okay so there's absolutely no copper around that screw over there just fiberglass scratching off there and i'll show you i'm scratching off some copper over there to show you the difference even though they look similar in the video that one's definitely copper that's definitely pc board over there so there's no ground screw so removing that ground screw is probably going to be okay